A remake of a Spanish feel-good comedy and an ugly crime drama are available for viewing this week. Yes, and here to review Champions and Luther, The Fallen Sun is film. Critic Jeff Kaplinski joins us. Okay, that was an interesting description of a movie, an ugly crime drama. Okay, yeah, well, let's save that. <laughs> okay, uh, great, I would, I'd great. rather talk about the other one, although the other one is a little problematic as well. A movie called Champions with Woody Harrelson. This is, a, as I said, a remake of a Spanish film. And this is a movie that I think is going to get really roundly criticized, and I don't know if that's going to be fair or not. Uh, Woody plays a basketball coach named Marcus. He is coaching a uh, semi-pro team in Iowa, and he gets into a little trouble. There's the head coach. He shoves him on the court. That's never a good look. And he goes out drinking and happens to then run into a cop car. Oh, yeah, no. not a good day for uh, Marcus, and he ends up getting community service. And the community service he gets is to go to a community rec center where he will coach a team of teenage boys who are all intellectually challenged. And here they are. These kids are enthusiastic. They want to play, but they all have their, well, they all have their issues. Uh, this is a really an, an odd film, and like I say, it's a movie that really walks a, a fine line. It shows these young men uh, living capable lives. They have jobs, they have love lives, they have families, and part of the movie is to go out of our out of its way to <laughs> get rid of some of the misconceptions that people have about individuals with Down syndrome and other things. But then there are also jokes that are made at their expense. And I have a feeling people are going to object to that. I don't think that this is an intentionally cruel film. I didn't feel it was that way. But the era we live in now, in which everyone is yeah. just so darn sensitive, people are going to have a problem with this. And that's too bad, because I think they're going to lose the message of this. And that is, is that, you know, you should go in, you should be able to laugh at yourself, but also take stock of yourself and be able to... Uh, appreciate what you can do. So a family film, kind of. I think it would be a really good learning lesson, uh, learning opportunity. I hope people don't trash this because I don't think that's the intent of this movie. Where do we see this one? In theaters. In theaters. Yes. Okay. Now for Grace's favorite. <laughs> Grace's Luther, not, the you Fallen you like, you like Sun. Luther, or? Um, I don't know. I'm going to wait to see You like Idris Elba, though. Who doesn't like that guy? Okay, right? oh, okay, I'm, right? okay. Yes, Idris Elba uh, has played this detective, Luther, on three different TVs, four different TV series in London, and now this is a feature film, and it is streaming on Netflix, The Fallen Sun. And there we see him, uh, and he has an interesting villain here. This villain, played by Andy Serkis, is incredibly, incredibly sadistic. Here's the kind of thing that he does. He kidnaps people, like, you know, young people in their 20s, and then he, well, he strings them up in his mansion Ooh. and makes sure that their parents then come so that they can witness their bodies being burned up right there. Okay. Oh, and then he has a various uh, many people uh, jumping off buildings at the same time, committing suicide uh, in Piccadilly Circus. This is a ugly, gruesome film, and the mystery does not give it credit as far as justifying all these things that are going on. This movie I, it had me, it, it's a type of movie that had me asking a lot of questions, like the bad guy. This guy has James Bond villain resources. Where did he get his money? How's he able to pull all this off? He's got this mansion out in the middle of, looks like Newfoundland or someplace, <laughs> someplace you know. And, and he's able to activate this army of hackers who hack in on your devices at home, your baby monitor, your computer, your TV. And that's how he gets you to do things because he sees you doing things you shouldn't be, oh sees you going to websites, Heather, you shouldn't go to, oh, all the time. and then blackmails you into doing bad things. This oh. thing is absolutely ridiculous, and I don't mind ridiculous too much. I do mind gratuitous violence. I do mind violence that does not move the story along, but is there just to rub our face in this ugliness. Luther Fallen Son on Netflix. Skip this one at all mm. costs. Okay. I'm not be saying that. <laughs> not, it's a hard pass for me, too. Yeah. What are you going to be talking about tomorrow on the morning show? Adam Driver and Dinosaurs. Oh. It will be called 65. I'll be seeing that. We'll talk about it tomorrow on the morning show. Okay. Real quick, Oscars are this weekend. Who, who's your pick? I'm dreading the Oscars this weekend because a movie that I don't like, I think, is going to sweep everything. Which oh. one? Everything, everywhere. Oh, that, yes, that's, yeah. I keep hearing oh. about this. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. I don't want to see it. Incredibly overrated. People have drunk the Kool-Aid. I'm going to be upset Sunday night. Oh, 
it's okay, a Okay, well, we're going to hope you're wrong. Uh, me too. You, although, in the past, we have learned that Chuck does usually get all of his uh, picks right. So. No. We'll see. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm okay. wrong too. All right. Well, if you want more reviews like this one that we had just uh, moments ago, all of their reviews are posted on their website, Real Talk with Chuck Pam. You can connect with them on Facebook. They've got a great podcast. And we'll have all those links at CI Living TV.